Welcome YouTube! Today we're going to be opening 800 cores of Transcendence, which is a lot of cores of Transcendence. For context, if you were just going to buy 800 cores of Transcendence, this would cost you $2,000 to do this. Now, do I recommend that as an activity that you should do for your own pleasure as an individual? Um, no, I can think of far better ways you could spend $2,000, but... Just so you don't have to spend $2,000, we're going to do it for you. So we have two accounts with 300 cores of Transcendence and one account with 200 cores of Transcendence. So the question is, how many Transcending Spheres will we get if we go in Fate? Now granted, if we went in Guidance, we'd probably be walking away with 10, 20, 30, 40... 50 over 50 wow that's a lot of transcending spheres but maybe we'll high roll with all these so i'm gonna pose the question to chat i'll pose the question to you drop in the comment section how many you think we're gonna get don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and let's do this our first 10 here we go nothing second Two! Very, very good start. So you can see up in the top right-hand corner, we have a counter, which is going to keep track of how far we've done, but two is the number so far. Let's do another ten. Here we go. Zero. All right, so we're still on two in 30. That's actually pretty good still. And there's another one. Nice. So that's going to take us to three. Let's open the next one. Eight Lamac copy. Cool, cool, cool. Love to see it. Whoa! Oh, that's insane! Right, we're on six. We've done 60 and we've got six. Oh, this is going to be bonkers. And another Aelomac coming through as well. Nothing in that one. Oh, seven. Glorious. Keep doing that pattern. I can't even remember what it was. It's like that or something, wasn't it? Well, there's another one too. Eight. Oh my word. Oh, maybe it was just that one, right? Nine. What the hell? Bro, nine in a hundred so far. This is nuts. There's an Alamac. And there's another one. Wow. So we've hit 10 in 120. This is an incredibly lucky opening. Alamac's back. Oh, it's slowing down now, boys. Oh. We're at 11. Aspen. Oh. Not getting as many spheres anymore now. <laughs> he says... He says... Wow. You couldn't have timed that better, DH Games. Well done, well done. 14 spheres. In a lovely, pretty symmetrical pattern as well. Amazing. Watch me get another load. Nope, that's just an Aelomac. <laughs> so stupid. Well, there's two more. 16 in 200. Unbelievable look right now. 17 in 210. What a ridiculous opening. What? No! Two more? Why am I never this lucky? Always other people's accounts, never my own. This is ridiculous. Oh. Oh, there's one more, sure. 20. Aspen and Alomac again. Five left now. Slowing down, not getting as many spheres. Probably deserved, if I'm honest. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, it's definitely slowed down now. You see? The look's not consistent. Really slow ending. Crazy start. Slow on the back end. Apart from those two right there. Taking us to 22 in 300. Okay, next account. Another 300. Brace yourselves, my guys. Time to go crazy. Zero. Zero to start with there. 
We are in fate, aren't we? We absolutely are. <laughs> Had to double check that. Zero again. Oh no. Is this where things go badly for this second account? I mean, it might do. This is looking a lot more like if I was doing this. Oh, there you go. 24 now. Absolutely insane that we finally managed to catch up. And that's better. There you go. 25 here. So we're gaining ground. Let's get some more. Good. 26. I want to see us break 60 by the end of this. That'd be really cool. And do you think we can hit 60? If you do, hit that like button. Drop a comment. I want to see it. Oh, wow. 28. We're getting there. Alamac? Come on, let's just... Ton of spheres! Nope. Please slow down. <laughs> Why? You getting a panic attack? Like, what's going on? Oh, slow down the number of spheres we get. Okay. Oh, what? Wow. We're really starting to get a lot less spheres now. Just one from that one taking us to 29. Maybe the Guidance Club. They're starting to get proved. Until stuff like that happens. And then suddenly we're at 32. Hilarious. You'll love to see it. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one either. Come on, let's get another big batch and then we're caught up. Ooh, okay, just one. Just one. Not gonna get greedy. Nothing there. Just a, just a heart watcher. Quaint. Faith Blade. Finally, another couple. 35 there now. 100 left. And that takes us to 36. To match Guidance, we need to be at 40 in that 600 we're doing at this point. So we need four more spheres to be at least equal to what you'd expect from Guidance. So really, we want to be over 40 by the end of this account. 37 with six left. Come on. Let's get it. That's just an Alamac. There's another sphere. 38. We are so close. Oh my word. Only 20 left. We need a high roll. We absolutely need a high roll. Oh, there it is! Okay, so in the 600 cores we're going to have done, that's exactly what Guidance would have got us. So final 10, will we be able to high roll, or are we completely break even? That's even! Right, so at this point, it's as if we just went in Guidance, but with an uneven distribution, meaning the first account got more, the second account got less. So now... Let's go see how the final account does. So here we are with the final account. Just 200 cores left to go. 53 is the average for guidance. Let's see if we can beat it. I'm a little nervous, you know. I didn't think we'd be break even at this point. It is kind of weird. But here we go. Let's see if we get the payout. Is this going to be big? I mean, th this beginning is, is absolutely dreadful. What? Where's our spheres? Okay, one. Right, we're at 41. Come on. Let's make it happen, folks. And again. Yeah, there we go. 42. Keep keep them coming. Keep them coming. Let's get a big load. Nope, that's that's not a big load. And don't you dare make a joke. MK wants his big load. Noah's already done that once today. <laughs> I know what I mean when I say big load. Get your dirty minds out the gutter. Right, 43. Come on. We got this. We've only got a few cores left, though. And it's not looking good. 120. Please, beat Guidance. No! Wow! This account is getting shafted. Please, come on. No. Nope. 100 left. Oh, boy. We might get sub-50 here. Oh, there's one. That's 44. And people have put channel points on this. Like, we've got a lot of people who are rooting for sub-50 right now. Because they're going to lose a lot of channel points if they're wrong. 
Come on. Let's get this. Oh, there's another one, right? 46. We're getting closer. 74 remaining. It's looking like it will break 50. And it might do. It jolly well might. We're on 47. But will we get 53? Which is what you'd expect from Guidance. I mean, the cores. They're giving us so many spheres now. Every single one. That's a Vessa. <laughs> wow. The non-believers really want sub-50. Here we go. Oh my word, it might it might be sub-50. This is ropey. Oh! 49! Oh my word. Right. Final 10. And chat's about to lose it whatever happens. Because whichever way this tilts, there's going to be a lot of winners on either side. And a lot of losers on either side. So here we go. Last 10. Let's see it happen. And that's 50. Oh my goodness. On the nose. Is that better than Guidance? Absolutely not. But has that screwed over a load of people in chat? Just a little bit. Which means people that predicted it would be 41 to 50 just got a huge payout. Anyone who needed 51 or higher just got absolutely screwed. Folks, that is what happens when you open $2,000 worth of cores in Fate. Should you go in Guidance? Probably. Or what you really should do is like when we started high rolling at the beginning, lock it in, then switch to Guidance. Either way, I'll see you next time, guys. This was a heck of a lot of fun. Sorry to all the losers in chat, and I'll see you next time. Happy idling!